Morning! Back at this old coop. Day two. So I went to the store this morning, got some, uh, this is water, got some uh, flooring, some glue. We're going to attach the floor to our frame here and uh, try to glue the flooring to it. It's going to be interesting because I don't have the tools and I'm not spending 20 bucks on a roller I'm using once. So I think we uh, may just flip it upside down, let its own weight, keep it pressed, and let it set that way. Uh, we did have some rain overnight, unexpectedly, so we haven't even looked at the blocks yet. I'm sure they've settled, uh, but we'll check that out here in a little bit. How you feeling today, Kim? I'm doing good, doing good. Sounds good. All right. Nice shot. Just giving the fans what they want. <laughs> so, we got our cuts done uh, for the 4x4s that are going to eventually be put on. We're gonna get this dusted off here, get some glue on it. I'm just checking, I pre cut a piece of two by four, the measurement of a four by four. So we kind of trace this out so I can see how it's gonna look in here. Uh, corners I'm not too worried about, it's the center ones because they're just a straight cut like this. Uh, but so far I've got enough room and gap, I just gotta go inside and file them down a little bit. Other than that, bro, we're still rolling along. What time is it? No? It's like 10? All right, not bad. Okay, so check back in when uh, we get this attached to the frame. Okay. Well, it starts recording. Okay, I hit the circle. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi. Back on this old coop. I am doing whatever my husband tells me to do, which is clean the purse. Or something. So after we made our cuts, you end up with a little pieces like this. Well, we don't have a rasp or any kind of file, so you take a metal blade and get in there, and you can clean that up so you have a clean corner. So you end up with something that would look like that. Doing good, baby. Doing good. things are just off, but that's wood for you. Um, so we're just getting this attached, and we're gonna sweep the glue and get the flooring down. 
I asked Kim if she wanted to screw, and she is unconfident in herself because it's not pre-drilled, and I completely understand because I don't even want to do it. But we're here. We're getting it done. Welcome back. So we are done adding the floor, attaching it. Looking good so far. We're going to roll out our floor. Here's what it looks like. It can double as a bird poop barrier or a doctor's office. So you can take your pick there. Uh, they sell them in 12 foot sections. Uh, long. Uh, we only needed four feet. But uh, hey, you know, or I'm sorry, eight feet long four feet wide. Uh, they did trim it a little extra for me because he knew I was going to customize it. But yeah, we're just rolling it out so we can get our cut and then we're going to uh, figure out how we're going to do this glue. <sighs> so I think I'm going to leave it overhang so the weight of it will drape down and then we'll cut to fit after it's glued because we got to roll out any bubbles and things like that. Um, so we're going to smooth it out. I'm going to take the 4x4s and actually use them and we're going to start in the middle. I'll have Kim help me. We'll press down, slide one that way, press down, slide that way and, lay, and then lay them all on top to keep it from curling up and uh, let it dry. Uh, temperature's supposed to be raising. Yeah, there's other things you're supposed to do as far as temperature and all that crap, but we, we don't care. Uh, it's for chickens. Uh, we just want to make sure it stays glued down. But yeah, I do really feel like I should be getting my teeth cleaned with this floor. But um, check back here in a little bit. So we're trying to spread the glue on here. Didn't realize uh, the size of the bucket we were going to need. So we're coming up a little short. We're just making sure we get the edges in. Um, it's the most important. Like I said, it's a, it's a chicken coop. So... Right now, just getting it spread around, cover as much as possible, and then we're going to get it laid out. back here we've got the vinyl down letting it uh, the glue dry believe it or not that tiny little bucket right here does work for four by eight you just gotta stick with it spread it out you just gotta move quick uh, got the layment down it's drying a little soft in the corners but that's expected because of moisture and we're just gonna let that sit supposedly 12 to 20 hours is proper curing time but you know we'll see but I've got the Four by fours on the edges to make sure, and then left it cut, uh, uncut, so the weight will keep it down. What's up, Mom? Hey, we're on. I'm starving. You're starving? Well, this isn't ye old stomach, or whatever it's called. I don't even know. But anyways, uh, so what we're doing now is laying the four by fours out so that we can figure out the pitch of the roof we're gonna do. Uh, we're not looking for anything extreme. Uh, we just need a slight slope like that, and then uh, make sure we can get our cuts here instead of back there but um, I tried my first way which was okay kind of keeping the line but as I pulled it away it didn't line up um, I don't even want to discuss it so um, yeah so that's what we're doing we're measuring and I'm gonna make this tape measure work for me oh, come on All right, so we decided we're gonna come up six feet to the top of our front post. Cause your wife is short. She is. Um, but after standing out there and measuring up six feet, it's even tall for me. Uh, anything taller and it's just kinda, wow, this is really tall. Uh, and it should keep with the height of the shed. Uh, so you know, it's a little more aesthetic Aww. for irrelevant things. There you go. You gotta, 
Okay. For people with OCD, they will completely understand. Yeah. So, anyways, that's where we're at. We're going to lay this out and kind of get an idea on uh, the pitch of the roof, and we're going to start making our cuts. And then we got to make sure we label these correctly so we know exactly where they go. I uh, don't know if I'm going with a number system or if we're going to, you know, uh, specific code it on the sheet of paper on our plans. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. What's up, Maya? See you there. So we're back here. Uh, we checked out our measurements. We went back there and did it again and come to find out six foot on the front is actually uh, too low because we found out that we were too low in the back. So we are going to a six foot in the back and that puts us for the pitch of the roof that we're looking at which is just a gentle slope nothing extreme uh, to a six foot eight in the front. So I've got everything measured out, the lines marked, get ready to cut the tops off of these to have these ready to go. So the end result is going to end up looking about like this here. And we're going to end up with a pitch about that slope that you see right there. And it's plenty for water to run down. We don't need anything, like I said, anything extreme. Um, we've got enough room for... We'll have to measure up to where our floor is going to be and then see about how it's going to fit our door and window setup that we're planning. But we're not doing huge windows. We just want something that's kind of more of a vent type window. Uh, it's a hopper window. We're waiting for it to come in to see how that's going to look. So this is our plan. It's probably going to change because everything keeps changing, but that's where we're at. So, uh, yeah, we'll check back in after we get the other measurements. Not right now, Maya! That's Melanie. <laughs> I that's my... Hey, so we're back here. I had to calm the dogs. You might hear them bark again in a minute. So we measured and measured and measured and re-measured and re-measured and measured again. And then we double-checked our measurement after we triple-checked it because we still messed up. Um, we have figured out what we're doing with the price. Or price. The... Ooh. Ugh. Yeah. Anywho, um, so we did have to make some adjustments. We were going to set the top of the floor at two feet from the bottom of the stud, the four by fours, but it turns out that's too low for uh, allowing the chickens access underneath. So we had to come up. Uh, so we set the bottom of the frame to two feet, and then that gives us six and a half inches to the top of the floor, which puts us, what were we at? 30 and a half? 30 and a half. So we got there, went back there, measured it to the shorty's uh, hips, and she's still good with it. So, okay. uh, so we got that done. And we've got enough room here. That still leaves us measurements up here, the roof's here. So we are ready to cut. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're ready to cut. We can still fit a 32-inch door in here if we wanted to go that big. Uh, actually, a little bit bigger if we wanted to, but we're not going to. And then uh, we're still waiting for the windows to show up to get those set. And that's where we're at. We're going to go ahead and cut these timbers and uh, we'll move from there. We're back on this old coop, and uh, we've pretty much done the pre-cuts on all the 4x4s. Four oh, wait, wait. And um, we're getting ready to go ahead and trim the floor. It looks like the glue's pretty much holding. It's still going to be wet in some spots, I'm sure, further in, but the sun had been hitting here. 
Um, so we're just going to kind of go around and get it trimmed up because I really need the floor space to put all the kids' stuff away. Um, that's really where we're at. Um, yeah. You're gonna get that side, I'll let you. Ready? There you go. Alright, there you go. Nine. Okay. Well, that's got glue on it. I don't really know what's playing with that. Y'all got that roll over there. Alright. Totally did not almost kill that with a piece of aluminium. Hey, right, so uh, we're wrapping up here today, this old coop, and uh, as you can see, we've got it kind of propped up on its side. That's about all we did today. How much more we can do? I don't know. What else do I need to say? Anything? You got anything? Uh, we're, we're getting there. We. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, it's the end of my weekend, so I can go back to work and... Uh, Will we be back at it next Thursday? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. I gotta figure out if I can unhatch this door just to lift it up about an inch, and we might be able to get everything the legs set in here, uh, so we don't have to do it out back. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Yeah. But there's a method to my madness. So um, for now, um, good night. <laughs>